in this session we have to discuss about actually we are all set to enter into problems of dc machines only one backlog is like you know power flow should be known and induced voltage okay so means like you know what is the induced voltage in a conductor you know i know that this is going to be blv v is not voltage v is nothing but velocity of the conductor okay now for example in dc machine what is the flux density waveform flux density waveform is flat top okay so my flux density waveform is going to be flat topped like this okay so this is going to be flux density waveform now in our like you know exam or in our problems they cannot give equation for this no for example if it is sinusoid actually one time they have given one question okay in calculation of induced voltage means i don't exactly remember gate or isro or somewhere okay so they have given flux density waveform they clearly said that okay flux density is sinusoidally distributed okay so the moment if flux density is sinusoidally distributed we can say that like you know we have one equation what is that like you know b average equal to 4 by p b maximum l r okay so remember that like you know in your examination if they give you flux density as average flux density we have to use this equation whatever we are about to derive for example in dc generator only or dc machine only if they give flux density waveform is sinusoidally distributed normally sinusoidally distributed we should not use because average like you know average flux will be more or average use voltage tapped across the brushes will be more if flux density waveform is flat topped so in my practical dc machine flux density will be flat topped only but in the problem if they give we have to focus there okay if they give flux density is sinusoidally distributed where flux density is sinusoidally distributed in synchronous machine so in synchronous machine what is the average flux density is nothing but sorry average flux okay so average flux in order to use the inequation of root 2 pi f pi okay root 2 pi f pi number of series connected kp kd we have done that already in synchronous machine so in order to calculate this pi i have to use this equation 4 by p into b maximum into lr we have done this in synchronous so in dc machine also we should not feel like you know in dc machine we have only one equation that is pi zn by 16 into p by year no we have to focus here okay anyway like you know come back to our dc normal machines like you know flux density waveform is like this can anybody give equation for this no so in the exam directly they will give b average okay and sometimes they will give like you know means uh, my flux density waveform they can give like this also like this also okay such that polar by pole pitch ratio for example under the pole shoe only flux density can be here and remaining portion flux density can be zero in that way also question can be given anyway we are going to solve those questions okay anyway point here is let us think of b average okay now if i think of b average like this what is uh, flux here flux is going to be flux density into pi d okay into l by p think about it okay for example flux density or flux per pole i would like to calculate flux density is the average flux density they have given okay under that condition for example this is going to be air gap okay our pole area whatever it may be for example flux density average flux density into pi d or 2 pi r so this is going to be r or this is going to be d okay so what is 2 pi r or pi d is going to be circumference into length active length like you know active length of the machine will be like this no so this is going to be length okay so feel it like you know flux density average flux density into pi d okay into length of the machine pi d into length of the machine so pi d into length of the machine will give you total area okay so uh, flux density into pi dl will give you total area divided by number of poles per pole okay so this is going to be b into pi dl by p okay so in this like you know what is uh, uh, induced voltage in a conductor b into length into what is velocity means in uh, one revolution how much will be the velocity pi d pi d is going to be the velocity because you are going to rotate the rotor no okay so pi d 
into n by 60 n is going to be revolutions per minute by 60 will give you revolutions per second per revolution pi d is going to be the what do you say surface area it is going to cover circumference so in this let me cover b b pi d pi d l l okay so this is going to be if i replace this pi p so this is going to be pi p n by 60 actually in some problems upon this also some problems are there we are going to discuss okay of course not it touched in uh, gate examination we will see so induced voltage in a conductor is this now induced voltage per parallel path for example if i have a parallel path of only two or if i have a parallel path of like this or if i have a parallel path of like this okay so for example if i have four parallel paths okay so how much will be the induced voltage per parallel path is nothing but the output voltage because brushes will be here okay so after four parallel paths induced voltage will be there it is nothing but induced voltage per parallel path is nothing but induced voltage across the brushes so total induced voltage is nothing but induced voltage per conductor into how many conductors will be there z into per parallel path per parallel path now number of parallel paths of course from winding diagram we can decide but not required for gate okay so number of parallel paths equal to 2 for wave winding number of parallel paths equal to number of poles for lap winding okay so this is going to be winding okay so now just use this just use this it is more than sufficient here it's more than sufficient we need not go through winding diagram can they ask you to draw winding diagram okay i do know that simplex uh, will be there progressive will be there retrogressive will be there lap winding will be there wave winding will be there okay so not required okay so a is going to be number of parallel paths depending upon the winding type they have they are going to give wave take to lap take, take p that's enough so this is going to be pi p n by 60 into z by a capital z or small z okay so this is going to be rewritten as pi z n by 60 into p by a is going to be the induced voltage equation this induced voltage will be there both in both in like you know as a motor also induced voltage will be there as a generator also induced voltage will be there okay now let us think of power flow okay so because with after power flow there is nothing will be there to discuss only problems will be there different sets of problems to solve okay so next thing is like you know power flow it is actually simple thing okay so power flow in power flow for example let us think of dc generator okay so in dc generator what is simple thing in dc generator input is going to be mechanical output is going to be electrical so let us think of input okay so input is in what form mechanical form so mechanical losses has to be detected so detect mechanical losses mechanical losses in the sense friction losses will be there windage losses will be there etc etc we are not mechanical engineers they have to give those losses okay now after input once mechanical losses are detected that is going to be electrical power equivalent converted okay so in a generator input is going to be mechanical mechanical losses are detected that net is going to be electrical form converted form okay so this is going to be developed power pd pd in electrical form okay so after electrical form electrical losses has to be detected okay so electrical losses has to be detected and after that that is going to be p output that's it that's it nothing more okay for example you know i know there are so many types of generators series generator will be there shunt generator will be there compound will be there kind of like you know there are many types means separately excited generator not at all required for example if i think of shunt generator just in as an example okay i don't think uh, nobody will be there i think like you know nobody will be there who like you know don't know what is meant by shunt generator also okay just enough so in shunt generator mechanical losses anyway they have to give what are the types of electrical losses will be there for example this is going to be the load current this is going to be the terminal voltage okay so inside armature resistance will be there no so armature resistance ri will be there inside shunt field resistance will be there no rsh will be there 
okay inside armature current will be there no ia will be there here shunt field current will be there okay apply kcl enough okay don't we need not write such a equations like you know uh, vt equal to eg minus ira not required okay so okay just like you know internally induced voltage is eg minus ira is going to be drop is going to be vt what is ia what is ia try to write kcl ia entering current equal to ish plus il sorry it is giving so much of uh, noise okay while writing anyway ish plus il okay now for example in electrical losses what are the losses will be there for example here poles will be there right poles will be in stator and rotor will be rotating okay so for example you are sitting on the armature so armature iron iron n pole maximum zero s pole maximum zero n pole s pole n pole s pole n pole s pole means that core losses will be there so armature core loss will be there armature core loss will be there okay and after that what will be there electrical losses maybe brush contact losses will be there if they give okay brush contact losses will be there after that like you know armature i i a square area will be there armature copper loss will be there armature copper loss will be there shunt field copper loss will be there shunt field copper loss will be there shunt field copper loss will be there the net uh, remaining is going to be output for example if you think of motor okay if you think of motor in motor what is the input input is in electrical form so electrical losses should be detected first so electrical losses okay electrical loss in this is let me think of like you know maybe compound machine compound machine in this like you know motor current direction should be in this direction and armature current is going to be in this direction shunt field current is going to be in this direction okay so what is series field current line current line current okay so electrical losses in the sense series field losses will be there shunt field losses will be there brush contact losses will be there armature copper loss will be there okay and armature core loss will be there okay once i detect all these this is going to be mechanical equivalent power developed from there you please detect mechanical losses mechanical loss in the sense i need not calculate also calculate also why i need not calculate because i am not a mechanical engineer so in the uh, exam in the problem they have to give so mechanical losses friction and windage you please did that is going to be shaft power that's it okay so calculation is very simple like you know maybe we need not remember each and everything like you know, everything automatically fall in place because copper loss will be there core loss will be there that's it okay now for example in this case how much will be ia armature current is going to be line current minus shunt field current because line current is entering out of the shunt field current is going off and remaining is going to be ia okay for example back emf because induced voltage will be there induced voltage will be there in both generator and motor for example this is the terminal voltage okay how much will be the back emf armature resistance will be there okay so vt <coughs> minus IL VT minus drop IL R S E series field drop minus IA RA armature resistance drop is going to be back EMF. Okay, so by seeing the direction of power flow, direction of power flow, we can decide the power. Okay, so we need not remember anything from here. Okay, but from equation point of view, one thing is important. For example, in case of generator, okay, in case of generator, what is equivalent, uh, what do you say, generated electrical power is going to be EG IA. Okay, so EG IA is going to be PD. For example, in generator, I am giving shaft power input, power input generator. So, mechanical power I will give, after mechanical losses, electrical equivalent power. How much is electrical equivalent power? Generated voltage into armature current is going to be eg ia is going to be the generated power from generated power direct this loss direct this loss direct armature power, core loss remaining is going to be this okay now for example what is the equivalent mechanical power for this for example this side mechanically is there this side electrically is there okay so this developed power is nothing but power which is being transformed from mechanical to electrical okay so from mechanical point of view what is this is going to be torque multiplied by speed 
okay for example let us think of motor in motor in motor what is pd is going to be mechanical power equivalent developed and from this is connected with the electrical also mechanical also <coughs> okay input is going to be electrical from electrical we have detect electrical losses this is going to be mechanically equivalent power mechanical losses shaft power so how much is pd pd is going to be electrical side back emf into ia back emf into ia is going to be the uh, mechanical power equivalent developed because input minus all these electrical losses minus all these electrical losses is going to be ebia okay so that ebia equal to torque multiplied by speed what is omega you know you know this will be 2 pi n by 60 what is n revolutions per minute that's it okay now if i combine for example what is induced voltage what is induced voltage induced voltage e equal to pi zn by 60 into p by a into 2 pi divided by 2 pi okay 2 pi n by 60 is going to be omega so this is going to be pi will be there pi will be there omega will be there p z by 2 pi a okay why we say this like you know for example what is number of poles here is it machine decided or operating engineer decided means while designing the machine the machine is designed for for example two poles can you make it four poles as an operating engineer once the machine is designed manufactured rolled out no so number of poles are going to be constant number of conductors in the machine design only number of conductors should be decided once the machine is designed manufactured you cannot change number of conductors okay so 2 pi is anyway universal constant number of parallel bars will be decided by whether it is lap winding or wave winding so a is constant machine constant so means like you know ka is going to be pz by 2 pi a is going to be machine constant so e machine constant like you know as an operating engineer means this is going to be designing engineer part as an operating engineer is directly proportional to pi omega problem solved okay now for example if i think of like you know t omega if i use eb into ia equal to t omega or eg into ia equal to t omega okay so for example e ia equal to t into omega okay now if i think of torque here e in place of e you please write pi zn by 60 into p by a into ia equal to t into omega 2 pi n by 60 okay so omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 now if you redo this this torque equal to again pz by 2 pi a into pi ia okay again this is going to be equal to machine constant into pi ia are directly proportional to pi ia okay so with only enough dc machines is over because e, e induced voltage equal to pi zn by 60 into p by a or some machine constant into pi into omega directly proportional to pi omega and the torque developed equal to pz by 2 pi a machine constant into pi a directly proportional to pi a and how to calculate powers we know power flow we know so we're not going to bother now about like you know is it uh, shunt generator separately write equations series generator separately write equations or shunt motor series motor nothing okay and we are not going to deal like you know this is braking we have to use this this is like you know speed control we have to use this nothing like that okay so we are all set to solve all the problems all the problems let us solve problems soon